Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm here to take you around our 2013 Challenger. As you've seen from inquiring on the car represents exceptional value. Really big fan of the Challenger. Gives you the trot and reliability but with a bit of a wagon comfort as well. We'll start off, this video is going to be mostly about condition on the car and I think you'll be very, very impressed with it. Starting at the front, Challenger gets projector headlights a bit better than the uh, Tritons. One's a lot better at night time and I'm struggling to find anything. There's one stone chip across the whole front of the bonnet. One. That's it. Really impressed at the front of the car. Coming down the side of the vehicle, you will notice that we do have Bridgestone Jeweler all-terrain tyres the whole way around. Good thing is, good chunky tyre, great for off-road use, great for taking the family out camping, but not a very loud tyre, a nice tyre there. Unmarked alloy wheel, of course. Coming down the side of the car, we'll talk about that in a moment too. Coming down the side of the car, no signs of shopping trolley, dents, nicks, scratches or any of that horrible stuff. And the side skirt doesn't seem to have any scratches or dents in it as well. Car does not have window tinting. I'd highly recommend you have a chat to Jesse, our aftermarket specialist, about window tinting for this vehicle. We'll really set it off with the white and black. Back wheel. Unmarked, no signs of scratches, dents, nicks or anything like that. Yet again, brilliant condition tyre, they can fit my finger in there quite happily. Happy news there. Coming around to the back of the Challenger now, a lot to talk about. This one has actually had a bit of a different tow bar fitted to it, which is actually I like the look of. Usually they have a big, big steel bar going all the way across there. Uh, this one's got a Heyman Reese tow bar that looks like it's been recessed in there. I, I like that. It's also got the Heyman Reese flat tow pin plug there. And you'll see underneath a really good condition highway tyre there as well. No signs of damage or major scratches across the bottom here. A couple of little minor ones, but nothing major. Lift the tailgate comes clean out of our way which is nice easy and it's a nice light tailgate to drop back down as well under here we've got brilliant condition carpet one thing you notice straight away with the challenger is the amount of cargo room you've got i can't even try to reach the back unless i climb in there the seats also roll forward to get even more space you do have cup holders because this dig card had an option in other countries to be a seven seater we do have a little 12 12 volt socket just here to um obviously charge your feet or show the kids ipad or something like that and the tow bar for the car we keep them in the cars because they hurt like heck when you kick them when they fitted to the car. We're going to lower that back down there and move along around the side of the car. Passenger side of the vehicle. This is the side where you commonly see damage due to things like the gutter and school pickup, that sort of thing. This side, rear wheel presents unmarked yet again. Rear tire, massive amount of tread in there as well. A good news here, this trim here commonly you see gets turned brown by people spilling diesel out on it. None of that here. Nice, nice uh, silver colour there. No signs on oh, no, that's a bit of polish. So no signs of scratches, nicks or anything down the back of the car. Down the side here, yet again, side skirt unmarked. No signs of scratches or dents at all. Coming up to the last tyre and wheel combo here. Unmarked wheel and a brilliant condition Bridgestone dual all-terrain tyre again. So around the exterior of this car, apart from one little stone chip, very, very good. Down to the front now of the Challenger, let's talk about the 2.5 litre high output turbo diesel. Much better than the old 3.2 litre engine. Better economy and a lot better power. You're looking at a 2.5 litre High output turbo diesel, pretty sure I've already said that. 131 kilowatts of power, 350 newton meters of torque. Combined through a five speed automatic, you're gonna get an amazing 9.8 liters to the 100 out of such a big car. 70 liter tank, it's gonna give you an in excess of 700 kilometers of average driving range. Right inside the Challenger now, and quite a comfortable place to be. As I mentioned before, based heavily on the Triton, pretty much from the rear doors forward, it is a Triton. At, obviously at the back, we do have the coil springs making it a bit nicer to drive obviously the triton needs a bit of weight in the back so up the front looks like a triton but uh, really a bit of the up spec triton which is nice though steering wheel unmarked no sorts of damage or anything like that cruise control on the right side one of the two airbags here at the front of the car as well we do have headlights and indicators on the right side we also have front and rear wiper controls on the left if i just pop the lights on you'll see the dashboard lights up in nice red making night vision very very good in this car 100 kilometers an hour dead in the center and nice easy to read taco and fuel gauge and also you get your little four wheel drive gauge there we'll get into that in a minute pull the steering wheel over to the right so you can see through the hole have a traction control button here um, probably best to leave it on but occasionally when you're off road you might want wheel spin to clear out mud tires if you were to put them on and a little blank there if you were to fit say spotlights or a light bar or something uh, big mirrors in this car and big mirror controls right there on the door trim 
four door power windows of course and a little button there to stop my camera from playing with the windows we do have a couple of minor very minor marks just there on the door trim i would point out over to the center in the center now we have our trip computer slash multi-screen don't know what mitsubishi call it but it's got everything on it we've got a compass saying we're heading south it's four o'clock it's getting close to home time uh we're listening to 1019 the fox because it is r&b friday and it is 14 degrees and you can also adjust that to have a look at fuel economy range speed outside temperature elevation that's a fun one and barometer good if you're camping so, and you can turn it all the way off too if you want. Little look there for stuff coming down from there, climate control, where you want it, how much fan, how hot you want it, simple. Down from there, MP3 compatible CD player in this car, really easy to use as well. Coming down from there, we've got a 12 volt socket and two more button blanks down there, as well as a little nook there for more stuff. Automatic shifter, pretty easy to use. Obviously, you just go through the most to D for drive if you're feeling like if you're towing a caravan or something sometimes sport mode can be good to lock it into say third or fourth gear as you're going up a hill so it doesn't change halfway up the hill and you lose momentum or you're on sand or something and you want traction over here 4x4 system it's currently jiggling around like crazy because it is a manual uh, it is a diesel my apologies it has two high at the moment if then you've got four high which in this car you can use in wet weather or dirt roads uh, four high lock center that's probably a bit more severe off-road off-road tracks and things but where you don't want to be in the low range using lots of fuel because you go nowhere and then low range of course you've got um crossing every what is it crossing every stream and fording every mountain i think that's it or is it the other way around i think it might be the other way around and a little bit there for um stuff more stuff you've got lots of hot places to hide stuff two cup holders handbrake of course got a little button there hang on i missed one got a button there reveals where your phone can live with a little cord hole here which when we go down the bottom you'll see aha that's where that is um you'll see we've got a cavernous little hole down there for all of your mini things I'm going to get my camera to zoom around the interior while I put the 12-volt socket plug back in the hole. And you'll see really good condition here. Dash pad, brilliant. Door trim's really good. Seat's in brilliant condition. Driver's seat presents the same as this one. Doesn't have floor mats, this car, but the carpet present very, very well. And the rear seat presents the same as well. One thing, come across to the roof lining, you'll see roof lining in really good condition as well. One thing I always talk about when I'm on the inside of a car is the smell. Something for myself is a big thing, and the car does smell like new car smell, no sign of smoke or anything weird like that. So definitely the right car on the inside. Thank you for watching this video, walk around tour of our 2013 Challenger. As you've seen, amazing condition on the outside, brilliant condition inside, already fitted with all-terrain tyres and the Hayman Reese tow bar. So we're ready to take your family on its next tour. Do be very quick for this car. Give us a call, 9907-0555. But before you go, don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five-year mechanical protection plan this car does qualify for, which now includes 10 years of roadside assistance. Thank you for watching.